The vehicle isn't out every day. It really depends on what the research needs and priorities are of uh, ARB. But when we are out, it's usually morning and afternoons, uh, or even in the middle of the day for two to three weeks at a time. And we drive anywhere uh, around Sacramento uh, in communities. We stop at schools and monitor near schools. And then we're also on the freeways as well. So wherever the mobile platform can drive, we can go there. One of our jobs really is to make sure we're in attainment for equality standards. And the stationary monitoring sites that are throughout California, they're widely spaced and they're meant to inform that part of the science. Are we in attainment with the air quality standards? This vehicle, you can say that it kind of fills the gaps in between. So the fixed sites currently are sited specifically, mostly away from freeways, away from different sources. While this vehicle, we can go right up to sources and measure really the dynamic changes in pollutant levels near roadways, uh, say near uh, industries, and uh, uh, sometimes even refineries. Yeah, but I N2O and CO2, and then also not a greenhouse gas, but a climate forcing agent, black carbon. Also, we measure different traffic related pollutants, such as NO and NOx, uh, particle bound PAHs, black carbon also for diesel trucks, and uh, particles, PM2.5, PM10, and ultrafine particles. 